Hey everyone. This is the very latest build of Salient OS, which was built this morning. All of the apps have been updated to the latest versions. And there's been a few modifications to the boot process. And as you saw in the previous video, a slight workaround for Calamari at the moment due to KPM core regressions that were introduced in the four branch as opposed to the three branch where everything worked fine. This is on the metal now, so I'm gonna do an on the metal install. And hopefully this is gonna do what I want it to do. It's gonna fail at creating partitions because I'm gonna use the replace disc option. Now this is a fresh build, fresh um, USB. So I need to select the drive, SDE. I'm gonna choose replace. And I want that to go to the boot partition. I'm not gonna bother with a swap. I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna do something very simple here just because of exampling what could happen. So it's going to try and create new partitions on this disk, SDE, and it's gonna set the mount point for this new extended four partition for boot. It's gonna install that for root and set up a home and then install the bootloader to boot. And in some scenarios, this will fail. And I'm hoping this will show you what happens. Nope, there we go, there's the fail. That's the fail right there. Okay, so the way to get around that is going to GParted. I'm going to select SDE, and you can see that's already got partitions on it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to format them to extended four. Or you can remove them and recreate them as you see fit. That's entirely up to you, but I'm, for brevity, I'm just going to format them. Now, this may take some while because it's just an old HDD, mechanical spinning disk. It's not an SSD, so this is showing you both scenarios. My primary is SSD install, which is fine. But the... Um, this disk is just for test purposes anyway, just to show you what's happening. Okay, this may take a little bit longer, but never mind. So everything's up to date at the moment. So if any new updates get pushed, they're gonna be coming in now as we install or after we reboot. But as it stands at the moment, this is fully up to date. And I will push those ISOs to SourceForge presently. Okay, about halfway through. It shouldn't take too long. I'll let this go through. And the configuration I've got for Calamari, there's there's no reason why it would fail in recreating a partition structure on the on selected disk. The only thing I can assume it is part of these regressions that have crept in due to the change in KPM core and the change from three to four. And as I mentioned in the previous video, the Calamari team are rewriting that module. So there are no three dependencies left. It'll all be KPM four. But as and when that takes place is anyone's guess. Although they have ramped up their development cycle now um, we should see new iterations of Canelari roughly every fortnight now in their rapid release cycle that they mentioned in the previous updates okay so there's our partition boot flags on so we'll run with that so this time, when I run the installer, 
I will tell it to keep those partitions because I've already just formatted them. So there's no need to do that again. Let's just wait for this to sync up. There we go. So I'm going to tell it manual on SDE. And in there, I'm going to edit that. Keep. Tell it I want that to be boot. Make sure that's SDE it is. Root. And home. And I'm going to tell it the boot partition that we've created here for that. Okay. So we're SDE and the boot partition. That's important to get right. Go to next. Let's fill out details again. I'm just going to give it a very simple login for now. I can always change that later. But this is what it's going to do now. So there's no create partition because it's just going to install straight to where we are. So hopefully this will continue. There we go, filling up file systems. Right, this is going to take a little while, obviously, because it's going to a mechanical drive. So I'm going to pause this here and I'll come back when it's a little bit further along. OK, well, the installer succeeded. But before I restart, I'm going to check the bootloader. For SDE. You see the boot flag is enabled by doing it manually, but it retains the boot flag. So I'm going to restart this and boot back into the new system and we can go from there. OK, so we're back. This is the installed system. Everything went fine. No issues to report in that regard. As you can see, we're fully updated because the installer does the updates, it upgrades the system. Um, obviously, the bootloader has been set because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. I'm just going to show you that partition layout again. There you can see, boot flag, so everything's good there. Um, other than that, nothing else to report really, it was a good install, everything seems to work okay. Now that didn't challenge me, so that won't set, so again, GKSU, save, run it again, and now we get the password prompt. And now we're running with elevated privileges, so we can set our monitors. I want that the other way around. That's the primary. Right, so this is to show you the script, okay? So at the moment, these aren't enabled, okay? Force composition pipeline is off, so let's quit that. Come into session startup. There's the script. Go edit. Show it the full path to the script and relink it. <coughs> That's done. Okay, so now I'm going to log out and log back in. OK, so I've logged back in. And if I open up the NVIDIA settings now, as you can see, because I'm my user is in the wheel group, it automatically gave me those privileges there without challenging me. If I go to advanced, you can see that those are now enabled. And that is down to the script. That is not me setting this here. That is down to the script doing it. So if we go into the script, it's very simple. It's, to, it's just taken from the ArchWiki anyway as a, a method of forcing force composition pipeline and force full composition pipeline. So the, as it explains here, so we need to run AR&R, like I said before, and that gives you your monitor names and you 
pipe them into here, HDMI and DP4 over here. So depending on your monitor set and your resolution and refresh rate, the underscore is important. It must be an underscore for your refresh rate, or you can set it to NVIDIA auto select. I wouldn't advise that because it may select a resolution and refresh rate that isn't optimal for your monitor. So if you know your best resolution and refresh rate for your monitors, then I would suggest manually entering those details to get the best performance out of your displays. Okay, so that's that script. And incidentally, the scripts folder is part of your path. If I do echo, if I spell echo correctly, if I echo the path, you can see that scripts is indeed part of your path. So anything you drop in there will be accessible to you. So that was a quick update. This is the latest iteration of Salient OS. Um, as I say, Sublime Text has been installed now, so there's that. I'll do a little follow-up video on that because there's um, a nice theme that comes with that now, and I'll show you how to install that. So hopefully this makes it a bit clearer for anyone who's having issues installing Salient at the moment, and until the Calamari team port that partitioning module across so there's no more regressions, then this is a basically a workaround until that is resolved and we can all get back on track and not worry about boot flags being set or partitions not being able to be recreated and having to manually set up our partitions. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.